All right, so in this video, we are going to show you how to use some Excel formulas to do some statistical analysis. So very simple statistical analysis. So what I have here is some Fairbanks, Alaska temperature data. We have the date, the time, the dry bulb temperature in Celsius, and the dry bulb temperature in Fahrenheit. We're going to mostly deal in Fahrenheit since that's what we're used to. So there's a couple different ways we can do formulas in Excel. We're going to um, do some formulas here. The first, we're going to do maximum. And the first way we're going to do formulas is we're going to go to the formulas tab. We're going to go to insert function. So in this case, I want the maximum. So I'm going to type in maximum here and hit the go button. So we can see it gives us a bunch of different things. We don't want that one. That doesn't seem like what we want. Max is what seems like what we want. Returns the largest value in a set of values. So that's great. So we'll hit OK. Brings up a little dialog as to what, what we want to look for. We don't want C3 to F3 though. So what we're going to look is we are going to, instead of that, we're going to click and drag in here. And so really what it's going to look for is the highest number between D3 and D26. And it gives you the result right here too. 60.08. So that's one way to do it. So we that's the maximum. But if I knew the a formula, which in this case I know minimum equals min, I can type it in, type open parentheses, and that starts the dialog. And then I can just drag and see what the max is. So, and then close parentheses and enter in there. So now if we look back up at min, we find that the min is 32 degrees. Now the median. So um, let's go ahead, and what's also nice is that if I start typing in things, it shows me the, one, a list of functions. So let me go ahead and pick that median function, double click, and then again, it shows me what I'm looking for for the arguments. So it's sort of nice, Excel does a lot of this for you. So the median's there. Average we find the same way. So you can see it's a very simple process to do these Excel formulas. And the sum is exactly the same thing. Oh, we have to type equals. So that's the simple statistical functions in Excel. They're really useful, um, really helpful. So go ahead out there and use them. Thanks for watching.